Hi everyone. Uh, what I'm going to show you uh, is a real quick trick how to fix your uh, broken video card or maybe not operating properly video card. My example was uh, I have a Asus uh, Vega 56 Rock Edition inside my GPU and from like a month ago or two months ago I started experiencing when the card is overloaded it will give me a black screen and the fans will run up and that's exactly what you're gonna see right now on the screen and uh, I'm showing you the issue there you go it blacked out and the fans are running to the maximum that was caused because of the thermal paste was not applied properly by ASUS and you'll see it in the following uh, video how to fix it how to open the card and what the result is you'll see that I'm able to perform this test I'm gonna try to change the thermal paste of uh, this Asus Rock uh, video card. It, it runs okay on normal use, but when it hits the the high temperatures, it uh, crashes. Fans are running to the maximum, and it gives a black screen. So the way you do it is, you have to take those two screws here. Those two, which I already did. There they are. And you have to take this metal plate, which is a spring, spring plate, it actually tights everything in. There we go. Put that nice neat over here. And now, separate. So, here is what we have. That area never got actually thermal paste as I can see. Here you can see it here, and you can see it here. Also not nothing here again. So let's hope that that will do the trick. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna put uh, a little bit more thermal paste. And we'll see what will happen. Just be careful with those cables here. Not to break them. Just a simple paper towel to take all that out as much as I can from the chip. We're putting paste only here on the chip. The way I do it is I have a small nylon bag make sure it spreads equally you saw what what was there on the chip they missed one part big time hopefully the chip is not damaged permanently that should be enough and what we're doing is spreading it with a nylon what nylon bag and a finger you can spread Don't over tight the first one. Now the last one we're tightening it. And we 
we're putting back the two screws. All set and ready to go to the eGPU box and uh, and test it. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the eGPU is already uh, assembled again, and we're gonna run three tests. Two of which, which is Blender and Geekbench, I was not able to run before. The eGPU would crash, which is actually the GPU. Actually, the Vega will crash. Uh, black screen, frozen laptop, and maximum fans on the uh, card itself. So let's let's run for Geekbench first, and I will uh, I'll be showing the the temperatures and everything. Okay, so we're gonna run GPU. Let's let's use metal. Vega, yep. Run. It was before it was crashing on the glass and blur. So Canyon's stereo matching was working fine. Uh, histogram, yeah, that's fine. And on the next one, it was blacking. It was here. The glass and blur, blur, it was black screen. And as you can see, now I have it running fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's all good. I think it was all because the thermal paste originally wasn't applied properly you saw one third of the chip what there was no paste at all so yeah there you go it finishes fine having a regular result uh, let's go for the blender blender was very heavy blender is very heavy this is the uh, what was the the test called uh, something tug, I don't remember, sorry about that but we have to wait first to load and yeah, the, the car is actually running uh, better now okay, anytime it should start rendering there we go 400 400 watts, these Vega cards are extremely hungry, power hungry Right now it's running to the maximum, you saw it, it's 1.6 gigahertz and maximum uh, wattage, there you go, it's uh, 39 seconds, not bad. Uh, yeah, so that's it guys, uh, I cannot be happier than this. I'm just rotating and trying to crash the card, but of course it's running perfect. Thanks for watching.